So in honor of Black History Month, let's learn a little Virginia Black history. It's also gonna circle back to school choice. Did you know that Prince Edward County schools in Virginia closed due to the civil rights movement? In 1959, when Prince Edward County was ordered by a federal judge to integrate its schools, the county opted to shut down the schools rather than comply. Prince Edward County School Board used state tuition grants to open private schools for white children, left black children without any schools at all rather than desegregate the public school system. Now, suffice to say, Prince George was not the only county in the state of Virginia to make this decision to close their school doors in response to integration. However, they were the longest, many other divisions closing from one to three years with Prince George being closed for five years. Five years that there was no education access to the black community, the black students, as well as many lower income white students. Now, another fun fact I learned in this history lesson was that many private institutions ending in the word academy that opened during this time frame also opened in response to integration or basically wanting to deny integration and having all white private schools. For example, in 1959, there was Hampton Roads Academy. 1947, Walsingham Academy. 1949, Ware Academy. And in 1967, none other than Liberty Christian Academy. You know, the Falwells, and even today, these same private institutions that were literally born in racism can deny whoever they want access to their institutions. And whether it be by choice or by income, we can see the disparities in these schools today. Out of 2,000 students in Liberty Christian Academy, 4% are African American. At Hampton Roads Academy, in the city of Norfolk, where the population is almost dead even for the white and black community, they only have a 6% black population in their school versus a 75% white population. Tidewater Academy, 2.3% versus 93.8%. Walsingham Academy, 86.2% versus 3.5%. Which brings me back to school choice. You know, the policy that many conservatives in the state of Virginia are advocating for right now. It's funny how they want to pull funds from public education, you know, kind of like our history did in response to integration and put it all into private education. So that literal schools that have the ability to turn away whoever they want and have proven both current and past to disproportionately help only one subset of our community. Why do they want to do that? Ask yourself why they want to do that. And to people saying, I won't be affected and continue to vote for them. Yeah, what do you think the poor white class of people in the 50s thought when they saw their schools just close? All to harm another community.